This here is our 7 to 12 plate level. What I want to show you is a few things that we have built into this level. What we're trying to do, we're trying to establish a plumb wall, top to bottom, we call it plate to plate. The bottom plate and the top plate we want to line up. So I'm going to extend my plate level. As you can see, we have numbers on both sides. What this allows me to do is set the proper height. Plate to plate, we're nine foot two. I'm gonna lock it in at nine foot two. And as you lock it, what it does, it puts the proper camber on the standout. So this way it's perfectly in line. Of course, this is an interior partition wall. It's not sheet, the reason being, we have mechanical trades, electrician, plumber, everybody's gotta get in the wall. So we don't have that option. What it, so we gotta put these sway braces on because we can't put our sheathing on. So here you go, now you can see how this plate level works with those standoffs on there. Uh, it's a great feature and they're removable. We'll get this panel squared up on the ground. Of course, this is an interior partition wall. The other thing what you want to do is look at our vial placement. It's placed right at eye height so we can check that. Great viewability, easy to read. Nice, crisp, clean vials. What's unique about it, all stabile levels is our bonding system. The monolithic block that secures those vials ensure that you're going to have accuracy for life. These are permanently bonded to the frame itself. This is going to avoid any shifting or movement on a job site. When you're done doing your tall walls, lower the extension arm back down. If the level is accidentally to slide down a wall, it's not going to break. It's going to be okay. Thanks, guys. Rich Morse with Stabila.